Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Uh, thanks, I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander. Uh -oh. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And we're back with more of the original Mass Effect. This is Hill. And I've got a question. As you will probably see reflected in my thumbnail of this episode. Do black people play Mass Effect? Let's just uh, throw that out there for a minute. And the reason I bring this up, the reason I ask the question, is because when I search on YouTube, and, you know, maybe the, the correct question should be, do black YouTubers play Mass Effect? Because when I look for playthroughs with a black Commander Shepard, as male or female, they are few and far between. You know, I, I I don't know what to say. I mean, is is this not is this a game that is not popular with um black people? I mean, I love it, and and I have other friends that love it too. They aren't YouTube content creators though, but they play the game and love it. So why do we not see many black commander shepherds uh, when you're looking on YouTube? And again, it could be that dreaded YouTube algorithm that you know m most people's alternate content or you know the not popular mainstream YouTubers I mean it gets buried and you can never find you know any of their uh, their content and I actually like the less popular YouTubers anyway because they, they see, tend to be funnier and more interesting and whatnot but I'm just not seeing a lot of black commander shepherds and and not to say that there there are none there are i mean i have found some youtubers that do uh black commander shepherd but it's just not that many and given the popularity and the age of the game and everything like that i would think that there would be a lot more um black commander shepherds male or female out there um to watch so what do you guys think? Uh, you know, leave me a comment as to why you don't, or, or why, or do, good lord, do black people play Mass Effect? And I guess it's, do the content creators, do black content creators play Mass Effect? Or uh, maybe... Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Okay, we're going to go talk to this man this time. Maybe, you know, black content creators play the default shepherd. I, I don't know. But, you know, I'm, I'm interested in, in your thoughts. You know, leave a comment. Let's get a discussion going about this. All right, let's see what this uh, man over here wants. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. A lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? Mm. My wife was a Marine. Okay. <laughs> she was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Narali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. I'm concerned with the living, not the dead. I don't have time for this. Mr. Bhatia, rest assured we will avenge your wife's death. We're dealing with the people who attacked Eden Prime. I understand. You have many important things to do. If you do have time, however, Mr. Boscott is the man in charge of my case. He's in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Okay, he's in the expensive bar rather than the cheap one. All right, let's go ahead and take care of this. I mean, since we have Ashley, who is, uh, you know, definitely promoting that we're going to help this man, and the fact that 
she served with uh, Somali Bhatia. We'll go ahead and do it. I think this also will give us a chance to find some more keepers and gain some more experience. I would like to level up one more time before we leave the Citadel. Oh, hello, ma'am. Oh, a diplomat, people. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. All right. That's, that's great to hear. All right, we got 21 experience. The experience keeps rising. More. 21 more experience points. And here's a keeper. 21 for the keeper, too. The last time we scanned a keeper, it was 19 experience. Well, let's talk to this diplomat. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. Is that some sort of energy blanket on the creature's back? It's interesting. Alright, so we didn't get anything from talking to him, but we've certainly increased our experience since coming in the room. Uh, let's go down here. I think this might be the expensive bar, but... Executor Palin. Let's see what he has to say. So they finally did it. I knew one of your kind would make Spectre one day. Why did you come to see me, Shepard? Did Ambassador Udina send you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. And you're the first human Spectre. Get used to people knowing who you are. At least around here. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. And unlike the Spectres, we work within the bounds of the law. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Spectres walk a slippery slope, Commander. Operate outside the law and it changes you. Look what happened to Saren. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? <laughs> there are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres? <laughs> They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a Spectre, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? Absolutely. The only thing that matters is accomplishing the task. If the cure is worse than the disease, what's the point? Okay, well, he does have a point there. Um, we'll talk about this attitude. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. Mm -hmm. We have to fight for everything we get. That's right. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. Wow. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? Yes, we are. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. All right. 21 experience for that, too. Let's check his quarters. There could be something in here, like a keeper. don't see a keeper, but there is a console here. Got it. Uh-oh, a diplomatic advisory warning. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, 
You have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. Few understand us. Fewer tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come, join us in the Hawking Eta Cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Kind of sounds like Magneto. All right. So, he knows Commander Shepard is a biotic. Thus, those blue eyes, because he's such a powerful biotic, that they have altered his genome. Okay, this must be the expensive bar. Judging from the fancy clothes everybody's got on. Um, who's this man? Another diplomat. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. Um, okay. Alright, well, yeah. There are a lot of aliens in here. I'm, I'm sensing the presence of another keeper. Yup. Alright, 20 more, 21 more experience points. Let's check with this man here, the bartender. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? You know who I am? <laughs> Your arrival uh, created a bigger than average stir among the diplomats and hangers on around here. There's always something new happening around here. I could fill you in on some points of interest if you'd like. Yeah. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. What is Shaira's? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Hmm. Cora's Den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. Oh, that sounds exciting. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. Well, if it isn't Nasana Dantius. She certainly plays heavily into the uh, second Mass Effect game. Let's talk to her. I don't have time to talk now. Oh, I'm you very busy. Okay, well. more keepers around here? Nope. Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she would. She'd be talked at the nearest airlock if she did. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Calm down, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... that is, she helps people with... things. You never went to see her, did you? I, uh... <laughs> no, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. Okay. So, we've talked to everyone in the bar except Bosker about Batia. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? You can cut the red tape for a grieving husband. 
I want you to release the body of Nerali Bacha. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. Serviceman Nerali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. I don't care how badly the Geth mangled the body. It's the husband's right to claim her. We are not holding Nerali Bhatia's body out of discretion. We are, frankly, holding the body for research. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Uh-oh, people. Uh-oh. I see Renegade. Commander Shepard's getting angry. You know who and what I am. If I want Nerali Batia, I can get her. Commander, I, I don't think threats are necessary. Even if the body were here on the Citadel, would you really risk going in shooting to get it? You said you'd been briefed on me. <laughs> How far do you think I'm willing to go on this? All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Okay. Oh, nine renegade. All right. That's the way to go. Just shove the man up against the wall to get what you want. Okay, let's go back and talk to Mr. Batia. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? Your wife is coming home, Mr. Batya. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Samesh, I don't know if this helps, but your wife, Nerali, loved you very much. She missed your cooking, and she played recordings of you every night before she went to sleep. I know, Miss Williams. But thank you. It's nice to hear it again. Oh. All right, so Commander Shepard did a good thing. Even if it was in a cruel way. <laughs> okay, um, who's this guy here? He looks suspicious. All right, let's keep walking. Uh, I think there's still some more stuff for us to discover before we leave the Citadel. Presidium area, we still need to find... What is it? Helena Blake? No, that's just a person hanging out. I guess we can go across the bridge here and look for the consort then. scanned keeper over here. Let's go ahead and grab this. Okay, 21 more points. All right, um, let's do a save. And let's come in here and talk to Nelina. Welcome, I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What is the consort? What does she do? 
Mm. It's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? <laughs> well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. Mm, that does sound interesting. And did you hear her say, relieve it? I'd like to try out your services. Oh, Excellent. Look at him I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in mm, mm, three or four months. <laughs> Good lord. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name, and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Uh-oh. Yes, of course, mistress. Uh-oh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. What does she want to see me for? I don't know. Oh, don't You'll have get to ask her yourself. Now, Shepherd. Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Okay, well. Let's go ahead up here and see about getting some relief or release or a little of both. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. Hmm. Well, it sounds like everybody's satisfied. Who is this attendant? You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. Okay. That's good to know. should probably wait out here. What's the, what's the wait command? Okay, now that we have some privacy. That is close enough, Commander. Oh, they're I've heard in a here yet. Things after about all. you since your arrival here in our citadel. I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Tell me about this problem you're having. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If oh. you can convince him to stop spreading what? lies about me, I would be very grateful. 
Oh. That was stimulating. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Okay, kids, don't try this at home. <laughs> okay, so I asked them to wait outside, and here they came in being nosy. Let's go. So, as you can see, I mean, I, I don't know if there is still anybody left that has never played Mass Effect. There is quite a bit to do on the Citadel. And we are going to knock this all out. Okay, let's see what else. Um, I guess we're going to go back to Korra's Den. Let's go ahead and knock out this Septimus thing. I'd really like to be as leveled up as possible before we leave the Citadel. So I'm going to try to knock out most of these uh, little side missions. Alright, we are back. Alright. Shepard's a little stirred up by the consort, so he's gonna... ...have a little entertainment. here this patron can we interact with you yet I got business here but not with you okay all right not now watch the show okay general septimus commander <laughs> what do you want I'm here on Shayira's behalf your lies are hurting her good her lies have been killing me for days. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? Because she rejected me. Me, Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. Some general. What kind of example are you to your troops? The troops can kiss my leathery backside. All I wanted was to retire and be with her. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Never let the enemy see your weakness. You know that, General. Enemies? The one place I always felt at peace was with her. Now, so you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It damn well couldn't hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Now get up and get moving, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower. <laughs> Say, you're a bright kid. Would wow. you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why is that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Why can't you tell him yourself? Well, the last time he saw me, I... I was disparaging his ancestors and... Shouting his secrets in public. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? Where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers 
acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Hmm. Okay. Let's get out of here. I guess we will just go where the um, story is directing me. Let's go see Zeltan. I think it's at Presidium Embassies. Okay, this is where we first started off. Let's go back here. We talked to Zeltan when we first got to the Citadel. Oh, I'm sorry, miss. We talked to... Talk to him when we first got to the Citadel. And, you know, we weren't able to get any sort of conversation going there. Okay, he should be down here. And I think we've got a keeper in here, too. Yes. Okay, 21 more experience points. And you should be Zeltan. Strange greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving, I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Not true. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Just make sure you leave Shaira out of it from now on. Agreed, most assuredly. It is clear that the consort was blameless. Startled realization. <laughs> I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. So long. Farewell, you. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure okay. the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. All right, let's keep moving. So, you know, at that pace, it would probably take hours or days for him to get to the consort's chamber. All right, and we are going back to see the consort. Because I, I have it on good authority. She may give me a reward. Never really uh, paid much attention to that big Krogan statue there. Interesting. just go right on up into her chambers now. It was a long time ago though. I barely remember it. What drew you back to the citadel and to the console? I don't know exactly. It may sound strange, but I simply felt that's not strange. Alright, you guys really should wait out here, but somehow I think you all are gonna be nosy and and come in here anyway. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. I can't spend gratitude. Oh, I would not Ashley. dream of letting you go without payment. I do not make a habit of incurring debts. 
These credits will cover your expenses. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding, a wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. You never hide your strength, either. It serves you well, terrifies your foes. Few will dare to stand against you. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Uh, thanks, I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Ooh, Commander. Shepard. 216 experience. Nice. All right, well, Captain Kirk has got nothing on Commander Shepard. So he was naked there, and... He's feeling very good about himself now as he leaves the chamber. Relaxed, mind clear. Just released in every way possible. Okay, well, those were the adventures with the consort. I think we have a few more things to do here uh, on the Citadel. And we will continue with those in our next episode before we leave for deep space. Alright, this is Hill. And I'm out.